update to a story we've been following about a school on the northwest side. On July 9th, officials broke the news on the school website saying they didn't have the funding to stay open for the upcoming school year. Staff were on hand Monday to help with records, recommendation and transcripts and other documents. News 4 Tucson's Ellie Potter spoke to parents and teachers on what's next. It's new at five. Parents and students picked up their transcripts and said their goodbyes on Monday. Now they're scrambling to find the next best fit. Oh boy, just a whole host of emotions. Um, it's been a roller coaster this past week. You know, as parents trying to find new schools on such short notice and not really having any idea where to go. After nearly 85 years and thousands of students, Greenfield School has closed its doors and is filing for bankruptcy. I like this school because I have so much friends to play with in it and I love the deep end and I love swimming. It's been quite the challenge for parents and students since school is not in session. Teachers are not available to meet, but the other schools in the community have been great about hosting tours for us. We have a Facebook group going with parents where we're all sharing information about which schools are hosting tours. Tuition at the school range from 10 to $15,000 a year. So at the very bare minimum, most families put down a $500 deposit. Some families actually paid full year of tuition for one or more kids, sometimes multiple children. Full year tuition paid in advance. Um, we're not one of those families, but my heart goes out to those who are out a lot of money. Second grader Ellie says she's sad her school is closing and has a special message for her former teachers. That I really like that you teach me and help me and that you help me calm down and help me um, make new friends and the especially good teachers. I love them. In the end, parents just want what's best for their kids. There's just uh, different clusters of families kind of, but are, are really a lot of us are just trying to keep some of the kids together. Yeah. Uh, in the end, we, you know, we hate for our kids to lose their friends mm -hmm. and um, try, to, try to find a way to keep those connections going. And now it's a race against time with school starting next month. Reporting on the Northwest Side, Allie Potter, News 4 Tucson. We have a traffic.